Hi there. Good morning to you and welcome to today's devotional for Tuesday, the 8th of September. Our topic this morning says, Company for the Lonely, Part 1. Our Bible text will be taken from Hebrews chapter 13, read from verse 5 to 6. It says, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have, for he hath said, I would never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Verse 6, So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Our memory verse is taken from Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, and it says, Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever. I have remembered, I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. What is loneliness? Loneliness means being without company. And it can be very, very traumatizing. It can be a very, very terrible and painful experience for someone to experience loneliness. Loneliness is when you go home and you cannot find someone to enjoy your special moments with. You cannot find someone to share your thoughts, your day with. Praise the Lord. But our Bible text this morning says something. In, in chapter 5 of our Bible text, he said, For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. What is that Bible telling us? What is that scripture telling us? It is telling us that God is always around. He is always a present company that we need. He is always present there to keep us company. You know, you can be alone and not be lonely. Praise the Lord. And you can be in the company of a lot of people, yet you feel lonely. So let's look at David, the life of David. David is a very typical example. David was a man that was constantly kept alone. But David was never lonely because he understood that God was with him, that he had a man where which says God with us. He knew that God was always and ever present with him, always having time to commune. You know, a lot of times we slip into depression because we feel that we are lonely. We do not understand the, the, the presence of God. We do not enjoy the fellowship and the communion with God, the company. That's why a lot of us are easy to slip into depression. A lot of us are easy to slip into different negative vices, not understanding that God has said it in his word. Like we heard in our memory verse this morning, Matthew 28, verse 20. He says, the B part of it says, I am with you always. That means God is ever present with us. What do you do in your time of loneliness? You have time to come in with God, enjoy the company of God and it will take away loneliness from your life. Praise the Lord. I pray that God will put an end to loneliness in our lives this morning, even as we constantly commune with God in the mighty name of Jesus. I'd like us to use this time in loneliness and alone time with God to have communion with God. Build on your faith, build on your strength, and always understand that there is always a company. There is always that, that the presence of the Holy Spirit. Just like I said earlier, Emmanuel, God is ever present with you. And you can tackle your loneliness. You can enjoy God's presence. You can have that communion with God. God is someone you can always constantly communicate with. You can always share your daily activities, your daily thoughts with God. Praise the Lord. I'd like us to pray this morning and say, Father, even as I have heard your word this morning, cause me to experience your presence. Cause me to enjoy your presence more and more. May I not feel alone again in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak forth into your day as you go today, Lord, as they go out today, Lord, that you would cause them to experience your presence. Emmanuel, God with them, that you will go forth in their days and perfect all that concerns them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you and God bless you.